Welcome, I'm Bob Cowan. I'm the director of the Hatfield Marine Science Center. And we're here to show you a little bit about the, the Gladys Valley Marine Studies building. Uh, this building is built in an area that from the onset we were very much aware was a tsunami zone. And so it was a really important aspect of the building to meet our program needs and the engineering necessary to keep us safe. So in the event of an earthquake and the need to get to high ground, this building behind me is designed to provide that service. And it's a, a spectacular building that you're gonna get to see as we go through a tour of it right now. So in order to get us up out of the tsunami zone, we had to make a really obvious escape route for everyone. And it's this ramp behind me that moves up and goes over the roof of the auditorium and takes us up to the third floor roof on the main building. And that gets us well up and out of even the highest possible wave. Um, tied to this is we realize that not everyone can necessarily make it up the ramp. We have some who will be uh, inhibited by that. And so we actually have in the building a elevator which will be uh, uh, hardened to the point that even after the very large earthquakes will still be operating. It will have its own generator and it will enable us to get people up as many as 200 over about a 20-25 minute period. Uh, so we've built into this this just very obvious and very functional uh, escape uh, to safety should that event come. We also want to use this so people get used to it, uh, to go up and have a wonderful view of the, of the town and the, the harbor. So it's a, a spectacular place uh, just, just to come and visit. So we're standing now up on the roof of the, the building on the, above the third floor. And this roof is designed to accommodate over 900 people in the event of a tsunami. And it has several different features built into it. Not only the, the space uh, we have uh, down at the, the far end uh, buildings uh, that will provide some shelter and include a cache of emergency supplies to support these people up here for several days. Also built into it because the possibility of a large wave bringing a large ship in there where you can see the rocks along here that part of the building is actually built to take a hit by a ship and crumble in without damaging the structural uh, integrity of the building. So it's kind of like a buffer zone to help push it off. Um, even though all the modeling shows that it's, it's about a 1 in 10,000 chance that, that a ship would even get up here um, in that, that sort of flow. So it's, uh, we have a lot of different uh, engineering features built into the building to both withstand the earthquake as well as the tsunami afterwards. So one, one important sort of philosophy we had in, in designing this uh, building was to promote interaction among all of our scientists and students uh, across disciplines. And so we built our laboratory spaces to be very open so you might have a biologist working on one table and the next one might be a physicist or a chemist. And, and then in their day-to-day -day interactions, they can be talking about what they do and, and uh, realize that they have shared interests and that maybe they could actually bridge some of their research techniques together. So the laboratories uh, are this very open environment uh, to be engaging. They're very light oriented and then just outside of them is where our graduate students who work in the labs have immediate access to the labs uh, but they also are going to be in a uh, open environment that enables them to interact on a more regular basis compared to sort of the more standard approach or, or older approaches where each laboratory has their own closed door environment and and they really don't have as much interaction in that that context So in that same philosophy of collaboration, this hallway here, which has offices for our faculty and our staff, postdocs, is set up 
So students that might come in or the faculty might be having a meeting, instead of being focused in the office, can come out and they can work on whiteboards. We're gonna have chairs that'll be along the, and small tables for small conferences. But this whole hallway is intended to sort of promote this further gathering of, of folks and exchange of ideas. And the, the idea they can have posters here, but they can also move these whiteboards if they need an additional one for whatever they're working on. So it will um, uh, hopefully really bring people out of their offices more and have that sort of regular exchange. So in continuing with the theme of the building of bridging different disciplines together and particularly with the innovation lab which is behind me on these these two floors, we are bringing art as well as technology and science together. And so this area, this space right here, is a studio for an artist. Uh, we hope to have a artist in, in residence program, different artists, different um, techniques uh, that will come through. They can have residence here, they can work in here. And then we hope as, as time goes on that we can also display some of their work. But the, the goal is by having them sort of front and center is to have that more regular interaction with our scientists and with our uh, staff and students to better blend together the, the conversation of where science and, and art blend naturally. And one of the really nice aspects of this building is this auditorium, uh, which not only increases our capacity for the number of people that we can have in one space, it's designed with a lot of flexibility in it. Um, we have uh, established seating. We have uh, seating on the far end that can be overflow. Uh, and then with the floor down in front, we can either put additional chairs out, we can put tables um, if we're having a, uh, a dinner, or what I hope for is also that we might have some musical or even uh, plays that would be using it as a stage. Uh, for um, so this this whole space here adds a dimension not only for the uh, Hatfield for the university but also for the community um, because it is a space that we can share many of our programs that we have which is intended to bring in uh, our neighbors. One of the really unique aspects of this building is this space here, which is our innovation lab. The Innovation Lab is intended to provide the tools, the uh, guidance, the um, opportunity for students, staff, faculty, even outside community members to come here and innovate, develop new instruments or modify uh, sampling devices uh, to have access to a whole suite of tools that they would not have normally in their lab, uh, or even in most normal campus situations.